doing a review on this. I uh, just got this from Five Star Hookah as my free gift. And this is the brand new from Ari Flavor. I think it's been out for about a month now. Citrus tea. Um, the only other tea flavor I think I've ever smoked was Nachla Zero Grey. Uh, have you had any tea flavors? Or? Not other than that. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the only thing I can really compare it to is other uh, citrus flavors and they're all gray. Um, so the smell on it um, has a, a hint. You can come through on that. Okay, it's okay. just all sticky. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, yeah, they, it has a hint of that that Earl Grey uh, tea smell to it, along with pretty much just the citrus. So it, I think it, the smell accurately um, goes with the, the name. I, I think actually the the smell uh, the smell is more. Uh, tea-ish, whereas the taste is more citrusy. Yeah. But I mean, you still have yeah. both flavors present uh, in either case. But the the well, I I definitely taste the citrus uh, more dominantly than the, uh, yeah. the tea. But yeah. Yeah. Let's get into the, uh, the taste of it. So we've been smoking for quite a while now, uh, at least forty-five minutes. So the coals are getting a bit smaller. Um, the clouds when we first started were a little bit bigger than they are now, but I think they're still fairly nice size. There, it smokes like from Ari. You guys know when the clouds are up, they're they're big, big uh, dense clouds. Smoking out of a vortex bowl um, with this beautiful crown tip. It's so nice. It's just so nice. Oh. Anyway, um, into the taste. Um, when I first started smoking it, I noticed uh, it definitely had that citrus. Um, it's hard to say what. Exactly, but definitely a citrus. I think lemon. I taste lemon. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I yeah. Anyway, the point is, if it's there, um, I think everything accurately. Oh, getting a phone call. Rudely interrupted. I guess. I guess it'll wait. Good. 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 Yeah. You guys get priority. <laughs> um. So yeah, the flavor for me, it does remind me somewhat of Earl Grey. Um, however, Earl Grey was way too potent for me. I couldn't smoke that straight. Even just a few pinches of it, something else was too much for me. This has a similar flavor, but very bearable. Um, maybe bearable is the wrong way of saying it. Uh, enjoyable. It's at, the, it's at the right level of potency, I'd say. Where uh, I can smoke it, it's not too much. I think it's a nice summer flavor because it's, uh, it's fairly refreshing. You, it's, uh, I mean, it has the refreshingness of the citrus. But a little bit of a twist on it, because I, well, personally, I, if it's completely citrusy, I find it's uh, you get a bit tired of it once you're smoking it for a while. So this uh, has, is a little bit toned down on the citrus scale. So uh, it's nice. You can you won't get sick of it. Yeah, I don't know how much I like it. This is the first bowl smoked a bit. I think it might grow on me because I do like the tea flavor and it's something a bit different. It's not sweet. It's very. Uh, it's mild. Yeah, which is a nice change from your typical sweet flavor. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to describe it, except that it does kind of taste like a citrus tea. Um, it tastes more like the way a citrus tea smells than the way a tea tastes. Yeah, well, because the, the tea won't have that strong of a flavor, so... Yeah, no, it's, it's good. This, yeah. the, um, it's pretty good all around, but probably not exceptional in, in any category, mm -hmm. but it has... Nice smoke, nice flavor, uh, but, you know, I'm still, uh, it doesn't compare to, uh, you know, let's say the Nakla Muso, but it's, it's pretty good. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to launch into my rating. Okay. Eight and a half. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. Um, I really like Fumari, though, so it's definitely my favorite modern brand. Um, this is not one of my favorite Fumari flavors, so if I'm going to spend or spring for Fumari, let's say, it's like nine bucks for 100 grams, which compared to most of the stuff I smoke is fairly pricey. I probably won't pick this up again. Um, but if you do like these kind of flavors, you, it, it's good. So yeah, I, I uh, well, I guess from the ratings, you right, can tell, you can but see. I, yeah, I like it a lot more. My other uh, Fumari flavor that I have is uh, blueberry muffin, and I prefer this to the blueberry muffin. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a pretty unique flavor. Um, everything that Fumari's done has been pretty good, and they... Uh, they're good at having a very strong flavor in terms of flavor strength, which I really like. So it, it's not too powerful, but it sits right in that zone where it's a, a good 
amount of flavor in your face, but not like killing you. So that's one thing I really like about it, and that's really why I gave it a seven because the flavor for me isn't something I love, but it smokes great, and, and everything is for the flavor. It's the best it could be, basically. So I'm giving it a seven. Okay, so average on a seven and a three quarters, I think. Yep. Yeah. Seven point seven five is our overall rating for today, and uh, we might do some more later. We'll see. But uh, keep an eye on us. Stay tuned.